Welcome to 2021. Welcome to our life. Just an average family trying to escape modern day realities by exploring what's around us, sharing it with the world, and making it up as we go. Adventurizing with sunshine, laughter, family, and friends. This is Life Through Our Eyes. Going insane with boredom? Well, so are we. There's lots to see right in your backyard though. Just have to go out and explore. Just strolling the grounds of a cool landmark like this place has its perks. History lesson, boys and girls. In a past life, I was a history connoisseur. Now, well, I guess I still am a history connoisseur. This railroad depot was built in 1906 by James J. Hill. Who is James J. Hill? Well, he had a brother who had a cousin who knew this guy who went out with this girl who saw Ferris at 31 Flavors last night. I guess it's pretty serious. Thank you, sir. No problem whatsoever. No, really, it doesn't matter if you're not from around these parts. He was just a very successful railroad tycoon. Was he a great man? Well, around these parts he was one heck of an entrepreneur. And there's quite a bit to see around here that involves him. His Great Northern Railway was one of the most successful ones in this part of the country. So interesting story about this depot in James J. Hill. He actually had one uh, about a mile away on the other side of this bay. He was expanding his railroad westward and wanted to put his railroad tracks right by the edge of the water here in Wyzetta. The city tried to stop him. He was pretty upset about it. So he got pretty ruthless and simply said fine. He tore down the depot on the other side of the bay. Wait, so I'm still trying to wrap my head around this. He literally tore down his own depot and moved it a mile away just because he was so upset with the city. Wow. And said the residents of Wyzetta can walk a mile to get to their depot. And they did for the next 20 years until they finally caved in and let him put up this place. And he expanded westward. The depot is a museum now. It's got all kinds of history about the Great Northern Railway and James J. Hill. Outside it has a garden railroad that operates in the warmer weather. There's quite a bit that goes on here during the warmer times, but being that it is winter, not a whole lot to do, boredom, this is one of those places. It's kind of a cool area to explore. The building is a neat building and the grounds are, you know, pretty fairly open. The city of Wyzetta put up a bunch of these little dome igloo houses that you can actually go inside of and hang out. and they're heated, which is kind of neat.
there you have it. History to be found wherever you look. Join me again as I explore around the area. Gotta get out of the house once in a while if you're not traveling across the country.